welcome now we will discuss general full factorial design we have discussed full factorial design with reference to two factors so far a factor a and factor b so today we will spend some time on general factorial general full factorial design and we will be considering three factors a b and c a with 1 to total a labels b with b labels and c with c labels so <coughs> We will discuss with the three factors and it can be generalized to k number of factors. The fundamentals remain same, only difference when you go from 2 to 3 factors or 3 to more factors is that number of effects will change, will increase in terms of main effects in terms of two way interaction effects in terms of three way interaction effects like this in terms of k way interaction effect as a result also this is this is the result of increase in sources of variation sources of variation when when we have two factors we have so, two sources A, B and their interactions. So, A, A B and its inter their interaction A, B and error. When we have three factors, we have A, B, C, A, B, B, C, A, C, A, B, C. These are the sources of variability. So, three factors and their two way interaction and three way interaction. So, in that manner if we have k way in um, general full factorial design. So, there will be number of sources of variability will be more and accordingly uh, the fx parameters will also be more and the fixed effect model the additive one which will be a lengthy one and the general analysis the statistical analysis will be will be the same like the we will ultimately interested to know to find out the ANOVA table with the increased sources of variation. So, we will start with same way that partitioning the observation partitioning the observation y with appropriate i j k like this and then partitioning the sum square total into individual source power, source wise source wise we go on partitioning. So, this is what we will learn here also the formula will be also similar with for every show every effect we will be estimating the s s every main effect, every interaction effects whether it is two way or multi way and the error SS also will be computed that degrees of freedom will be computed then their uh, mean uh, square level will be computed f will be computed and finally, using the appropriate f statistics we will be seeing that which of the effects are significant which of the effect are not significant and we will see the a tutorial kind of thing that is a one example uh, with excel I will show you and please keep in mind that the theoretical basis is similar to two, two factor uh, factorial design only the addition is the number of effects number of s s and uh, the resulting computation ok. So, a three factor uh, factorial design the fixed effect model will look like this ok. 
so why you please see that what I have written for a 3 factor factorial plane. general observation is y i j k l. So, i from 1 to a this is with reference to factor a with reference to factor b j changing from 1 to b with reference to factor c k changing from 1 to c, but we have n replicates. So, with reference to replication replication l change from 1 to n. So, accordingly if I say i j k l this is the that is the experimental that observation or the y value when a is at ith level k is at j b e at j th level c at k th level and replication yeah, and with l lth replication. So, this one can be having grand mean that is mu plus tau y that is the factor a effect beta j factor b effect gamma k factor c effect then their interaction is tau beta i j interaction between a. So, this is your grand mean I say a effect this is related to b this is related to c this is related to a b then you will write down beta gamma j k plus tau gamma i so, this will be your beta gamma mean B C effect, this will be A C effect plus tau beta gamma I J K that is A B C effect plus error epsilon I J K L this is your error. Okay. So, this is your 3 factor fixed effect model. three factor fixed effect model. So, you require when you collect data after experiment you have every data and the resultant that you what you require you require to do parameter estimate with reference to all those parameters with reference to mu it will be y i j k l that bar with reference to tau y that mu that is y i a 1 2 th this bar. So, something like this we will be finding out for all others the way we have done earlier and then we uh, the parameters will be estimated and also um, in SS computation we will make the square of all those things. Now, if you want to calculate suppose you are interested to know what is S S T that is sum square total. So, what is what we know here in sum square total? So, if you see the data matrix here data matrix will be A will be suppose 1 2 like A level then if I say B will be 1 2 then B level. So, suppose B and there will be another C and that will also be 1 2 like this levels. So, your data matrix will be having for 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 every C there will be a every a and b a b level for this similarly for c equal to 2 the same thing will be repeating. So, ultimately what happened for SST you will compute uh, that to consider all the values. So, n so n is a b c into small n now you know what is a b c n then SST will be having 4 sums 1 is L equal to 1 to n, k equal to 1 to c, 
j equal to 1 to b i equal to 1 to a then you find out i j k l the square. So, minus we have seen the correction part this square by n y 4 dot square by n because phi 4 1 for a 1 for b 1 for c 1 for replications. So, this is our formula for S S T and this is nothing but A B C into N. So, then what will happen for S S A? S S A means there are A row total one first row second row like this. So, all to row totals will be considered it will be sum will be i equal to 1 to a then y i triple dot square. Now, this is based on the b c and replication. So, what will happen 1 by b c n minus y triple dot 4, 4 dots 4 naught by a b c n. So, what will happen to then S S B 1 by A C N J equal to 1 to A A 1 to B y dot j dot dot square minus y double triple 4 dot square by A B C N and similarly S S C will be 1 by B C N um, 1 by A B N not B C N 1 by A B N because this is C sum total of k equal to 1 to c then y dot dot k dot square minus y 4 dot square by a b c n. Now, comes uh, the these are the main uh, contribution of the main effect or s s for the main effects. So, what you require now you require suppose contribution for the two way interaction effects. So, two way interaction effects when you compute we, we say that the sum square is S S A B. Here A and B both are there. So, you consider I equal to 1 to A for A, J equal to 1 to B for B, Y I J dot dot this square and this will be divided by C n because the other all values C n values are considered here then minus y 4 dot square by a b c n this gives you subtotal this gives you subtotal a b then this one will be subtracted is with S S B, S S A, S S B, S S sorry S S A and S S B because S S A B we are computing. So, similarly for S S B C you find out the subtotal subtotal A C then you subtract it by S S A and S S C. Now, what is subtotal A C? 1 by B n sum of i equal to 1 to A, k equal to 1 to C y i dot k dot square minus S S A minus S S C. Similarly, for S S A C will be uh, S S A C S S B C 1 by A N I have done the mistake 1 by S S A B is 1 by C N S S A C is S S B C will be 1 by A N and S S A C will be A N C term will be out. So, that uh, I n uh, that a this a will not be there that c will not be there then b will be there b n sum total of s s a c means uh, i equal to 1 to a 
and k equal to 1 to c. So, then if I write S S B C here, this is I equal this will be j equal to 1 to b and k equal to 1 to c, then this will be dot j dot square minus S S B minus S S C. This correction you make. You are writing S S B C here, not S C. So, S S B C this will be 1 by a n j equal to 1 to b k equal to 1 to c y dot j k dot square minus s s b s s c. Now, I am writing here s s c. So, that is why 1 by b n i equal to 1 to a k equal to 1 to c then y i dot k dot square minus y 4 dot square by a b c n minus s s a minus s s c. So, as, as such here also minus y 4 dot square by by a b c n will be there. So, s s s sub total b c S S subtotal B C minus S S B minus S S C. Here S S subtotal A C minus S S A minus S S C. So that means these are two way, two interaction, two way interaction, and they are some square computed. So then finally, then there is another source which is three way interaction A B C, three interaction A B C. So you have to compute S S A B C. So, S S A B C when you compute this will be now A B C is taken they will be varying. So, you are having 1 by n j is not varying then i j k i equal to 1 to a j equal to 1 to b k equal to 1 to c y i j k dot square minus y 4 dot square by A B C n this is nothing but S S S S subtotal S S subtotal for A B C. Then it will minus the main effects and two way interaction effects. So S S A S S B S S C S S A B minus S S B C minus S S S ok. So, that means uh, that S S subtotal A B C minus 3 that S S A S S B S S C this one the main effect contribution and second order effect contribution will be subtracted. Then S S error will be S S total minus S S subtotal A B C and you know that they are resulting n over table will be then after this the resultant n over table will be like this. You see that source of variation a b c a b a c b c a b c then error some squares s s a s s b s s a c this will be s s c then s s a b then s s a c then s s b c and s s a b c. So, make a correction here this is a c this is a typo then degrees of freedom we have a level. So, for factory so that is why a minus 1 b minus 1 c minus 1 a minus 1 into b minus 1 a minus 1 into c minus 1 b minus 1 into c minus 1 and like this these are these are known to you the way it should be computed ok. And then finally, you will then you compute mean square mean S S A by degree of freedom. So, S S by degree of freedom will give you mean square corresponding mean square computed. Now, every mean square of the effect is compared with the mean square error, where mean square error is M A C which is sigma square. And then a value is computed by comparing every, every effect mean square divided by mean M A C 
that will give you the f 0 value this f 0 value will it will be compared with the threshold value. Okay. So, that is it. So, one example I am giving suppose uh, you are you are interested to know whether factor that mean a that main effect a is effect having influence or not. Then you are computing its SSA, you are computing its degree of freedom is a minus 1. Then what you are computing it MSA which is basically SSA by a minus 1. So, similarly B, similarly C, similarly A B, similarly A C, similarly B C, similarly A B C, then similarly error. Now, for error you are writing S S error, then you know the degree of freedom is A B C into n minus 1, A B C into n minus 1. So, it is M S E you are computing which is S S E by A B C into n minus 1. Then now, you are computing f from there you are computing f a 0 which is m s a divided by m s e. So, similarly f a f b 0 m s b by m s e f c 0 will be m s c by m s e f a b will be f a b 0 0 for null hypothesis same manner. Then your this will your f f a 0 will be distributed as f degree of freedom a minus 1 a b c n into n minus 1. So, and see this one will be a b minus 1 a b c into n minus 1 like this. Now, suppose we are interested we for example, talk about a then what you do f a minus 1 a b c into n minus 1 alpha this value will be compared with f a 0 if f a 0 greater than equal to this or let us write down greater than greater than this reject h 0. So, a is significant that means main effect a is significant same manner other effects will be considered and so let us see one example here there are three factors a b and c a with three levels 10 12 14 b with two level 25 30 c with two level 200 and 250 so our example we have three factors a three levels b two levels c two levels so we have total treatment combination equal to a b c equal to 3 cross 2 cross 2 equal to 12 if you see the data see the data suppose a is 10 b is 25 c is 200 then uh, we have two observations here minus 3 3. So, that mean we have a replication equal to 2. So, then what is the total observation n this is a b c n equal to 12 cross 2 equal to 24 we have 24 data points if you see this 1 2 3 4 6 into 1 2 3 4 the 24 data points we have. So, what we want basically suppose our job will be of two fold one is estimation of parameters and second one is that hypothesis test. So, estimation of parameter I have discussed earlier in the same manner we will it will be computed and hypothesis test there will be hypothesis related to each effect with related to A with related to B with related to C like this there are A B C A B B C 3 plus 3 plus 1 3 plus 3 plus 1 
7 hypothesis H 0 and 7 H naught alternate hypothesis also H naught and H 1. So, those every hypothesis will be tested and it will be tested using the using this this kind of things. So, I will show you how the SS for different thing will be computed. Here, here you see that if you consider A, then row total is 3 with respect to 10 and 20, 59, grand total is 82. So, you can find out 82, the average will be 82 by 24 and here also you will find out the average that is 3 by 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 8, so 3 by 8. So, then the, the parameter estimate effect of A equal to 10 that level is this 3 by 8 minus 82 by 24. So, in this manner you will find out the different level effects A different levels. Similarly, for B 25 third 57 is computed you compute the average subtract from the grand mean you will get the B effect and for C it is 200 and 250. So, 200 plus 200. So, this 200 this 200 value will give you 10 plus 20 30 and for at 250 it will be 15 plus 37 52. So, 30 52 that average you calculate minus the grand average and in the same then then manner the A B B C will be computed. Okay. Now, for S S computation the S S values if you see that A B C all those these are the values some square values how we have computed those some square values. So, suppose we want to A B C part is you have seen suppose we want to compute A B A C B C. Now, when you are talking about A B you are creating that creating the cell total when A equal to 10 and B equal to 20 what is the cell total? A equal to 10 and B equal to 25 then there are how many data points? 4 data points minus 3, 3, 1, 2, minus 2. So, it will be minus 1 some of this will be minus 1. So, in this manner minus 1 is coming. Similarly, suppose A equal to 14 and B equal to 30 it is 37 how it is coming you see A equal to 14 and B equal to 30 B equal to 30 then 14 30 mean this 4, 4 observation 7 plus 10 17 plus 11 28 plus 9 37. So, 37 in the same manner A C the total the corresponding cell totals and and A B C A B C where the only the n will be replication will be added. So, minus 3 minus 3 0 0 and like this. So, that is what is the different table you are creating from the main table from the main table you are finding out the row total for computation of t tau i and s s a that is row total then column total will give you beta j uh, estimate of beta j and s s b and in column total again there is an a c factor c factor is also there. So, that will give if I come, come from column again that is all tau beta then gamma k and s s c for for computation of a b a c and a b c similarly b c b c interaction. So, what will happen you are creating separate tables and from here using simple uh, that arithmetic operations you will be able to compute all SSA, SSB, SSC. So, what I will do I will show you excel sheet here and we will show you one or two calculation. For example, you say this table here total is 3 how this total is coming you see that sum total of all with respect to 10 sum of d 4 to g 5 all those things. Similarly, if you want this this cell you are getting these totals. Now, the grand total you see everything is considered here. So, then y 4 dot square is this you see what we have is there h 10 10 square by 24 
because this is basically the grand total. So, grand total square by 24 is giving this. Now, when we are going to compute SSA, what is the formula you are using? What is the formula you are using? So, SSA formula or SST formula, suppose SSA formula is 1 by BCN into this the rows row total square and and sum of them and this. So, this one I will show you. Suppose SSA is rolled I am clicking here, okay. what you again 1 by 1 by B C n. So, B equal to 2, C equal to 2 and n equal to 2. So, 1 by 8 into this square rows this row square plus this row square plus this row square is the first part this minus that correction one this. Okay. Now, let us see that in the same manner B C will come. Suppose, I want to know this one interaction A B. So, you, I am clicking here and how we have computed you please see. So, what is interaction A B? Interaction A B formula is this 1 by C n sum total of this square minus this correction factor minus the individual uh, that main effect sum square. So, 1 by C n is 4 and then y i j square. So, where is this you just see it is coming here it is here 1 2 3 4 5 see this 6 cell this total values are squares minus h 11. Now, what is where is h? h? Where is h 11? This one because this is the correction factor y dot 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 square by a b c n minus d 21, d 21 is s s a and d 22 is s s b. Okay. Suppose you you want to see the s s a b c that is the three way interaction. I why what way we have created you see what is the formula for three way interactions. The formula for three way interaction is S S subtotal A B C minus all the factors and this is your subtotal 1 by n. So, 1 by 2 then then where is this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 because A B C equal to 12. So, this 12 cell values are uh, totals are we have created different cells. So, we will tell total square and minus obviously, this this one because that is what is coming here minus you see a s s a s s b s s c s s a b s s b c s s a c all these things are considered here okay, up to d 26 d 26 is s s a b c. So, this is giving you the way you can compute. So, that means, within a table within the data table by using the arithmetic summation and arithmetic operations, you will be able to find out not the parameters tau i, beta j, gamma k, tau beta i j all those things plus SSA, SSB all the sum square also you will be able to compute and then you will be you will be and, and you can develop the ANOVA table. So, this is what is our ANOVA table finally. So, finally, ANOVA table the degrees of freedom are also given and M s is calculated, F 0 calculated and then found out that with reference to the threshold value that A B C effect are significant, but interaction effect are not significant. So, none of the interactions are uh, that values are F 0 values are more than what is the threshold or tabulated value. So, we can say that the three factors affecting the y, but they are they as they have do not have the correlation or dependent relationship within any any of the factors. I can not say dependent, I can say that they are not correlated. So, that means, the joint effect is not there. So, their interaction are not not contributing towards y as far as the model and the data is considered. So, then what if you I think you now know the general full factorial design and how it is to be done. So, I think we have spent lot of time 
on this full factorial design particularly we started with introduction then we have shown you the two factor then we have seen uh, you have seen the with the with replicate single replicate now the general full factorial design so the remaining things may be how do you use blocking because there will be blocking in vision spectre which is to be blocked so how do how do blocking with general uh, full factorial design or with full factorial design uh, how do you use blocking that will be discussed in next class thank you very much